We're waiting for the lovely. Hey. Right on time. Linda Wellness. Okay, guys, you know. Peace. I'm just putting in your handle. So what we up to today? We juicing. We are gonna juice and build tonight. I hope you guys are ready. I hope everybody's doing well. Okay, we got your pencil to talk. Can you make sure I spelled everything right? Yes. <clears throat> Great. Because you know, sometimes you think you see it the right you see it the way it's supposed to be, and it's not like that. So I like to always have a second pair of eyes. That Which you have been. You're having my second pair of eyes. Miss typing sixty five words per minute and hey. tell me about my run on sentences. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna tell the people that? I'm your English teacher. That's right. I'm in good hands. I'm in good hands. There you are. So. So, guys, I just want to say I appreciate all your support. Everybody's so enthusiastic about juicing and this whole process, and it just it makes me super, super excited. So I can't wait to um, dive in a little bit on what we're doing. It's just going to be something basic tonight, guys. Oh, yeah. And while we have the people coming in, Let's let them know that we will be giving away per oh, we're Linda's. We're gonna let them know right away, huh? <laughs> yeah, per Linda's request, she said, "Look, I want to give away a blender." She okay. normally blends with these super sophisticated 5G dangerous blenders out of stuff, <laughs> but she normally blends with these high power blenders. And we was building, and she said, "You know what?" We're going to build and work our way up in blenders, but she doesn't want to leave nobody out. So, yeah, so today we're going to start with the basic juicer, essential fungal juicer. Juicer, pardon me. I keep saying yes. blender. <laughs> so we're going to start off with a basic juicer, just in case yes. it's within your tax bracket or it's the most convenient to find in real time. Because I know a lot of times when you get the information, you want to just work in real time. You don't want to be waiting for the COVID-19 prolonged mail to come in so right. she's going to give away the juice that she uses tonight I and she's going to give away today. i bought it today specifically for this video so when we're done juicing i'm going to actually clean it up put it back in the box and we'll send it to somebody with a receipt and everything how are we gonna how are we gonna choose how are we choosing you know i don't know if you guys are up for suggestions Let i can put know. a i can throw a quiz out there and if somebody puts the right answer we could do it like that, right. or we could just randomly pick somebody. I don't know, but everybody needs to follow Linda's Wellness. That's first and foremost. Follow Linda's Wellness, and for the next two weeks, we're going to give away a free blender. The only thing that we ask of you, we're going to send you the receipt in the blender, the one that's used, autograph signed by the Linda herself, right? <laughs> <laughs> so for the next two weeks, you guys are going to get a free blender just for watching this. All right, so that's two Do weeks sir. in a row. Oh, I'll, sir. All right, this is what that's I'm going to do. If I say blender again, <laughs> if I say blender again, I'm going to have to give out a free juicer. <laughs> all right? So. The top of the line, top of the line juicer. Top, oh, shit. <laughs> Part of my language. <laughs> we ain't discussed that behind the scenes. So we're going to make sure you guys get a free juicer this week, and we're going to make sure you guys get a free juicer next week. And as compliments of you investing in yourself, it, we should just invest back into the people that's investing in themselves. That's what we're doing. Can they say health is wealth? Well, the money machine is the juicer. Okay? So we throwing that money in there. We, we putting that green in there. We putting that kale inside of there. Okay? We about getting this green. And when we do this, this is the encourage the behavior one. So if you guys are up for an idea for how we can give away this juicer, Please let us know, but it's definitely yours tonight on the house and another one on the house for Tuesday when we do Juice and Bill. So the way we're going to do Juice and Bill, family, is that I'm a Bill, she's going to juice. Sometimes we're going to take turns, but instead of me being distracted because I'm cutting up stuff, we have Sister Linda that's going to come through and do the juicing and everything thereof. While I get to do the blend, uh, 
Well, I am going to be blending. I'm going to be blending a lot of sciences. All right. <laughs> Caught they are myself. ready for it. <laughs> I'm going to be blending a lot of sciences. So we're going to juice and build tonight. Juice and build. Make sure you follow Linda's, well, Linda's Wellness. Follow her, Linda's Wellness. Alexis has an idea. Say something about tagging somebody and following me. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah, let's get it in. Let's get it in. So tonight, make sure y'all share this video too. Not, not only follow Linda's Wellness. Make sure you do that right now if you can. Get up out of here and come back in. Make it your best effort because soon we'll be doing these sessions over there where she's at. Okay, we doing them over here because she started a very important milestone in her life with her juice bin, uh, business, or uh, our juice business, I should say. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's something I really got invested in because she deals with it to a science, and I deal with mathematics when it comes to health, so the combination of what the both of us is doing, we found an amazing potion. So we're going to give you guys love potions. That's what we're going to give you guys because you have to love yourself. You have to start treating yourself like you have that worth. So one of the things you're going to do that denotes self-worth is consuming food that tells your body that you are valuable. Exactly. Now, let's have that discussion real quick, okay? And you should always be able to look on people's face alone and tell mm -hmm. about their health. You should be able to see people's energy and tell about their health. It's a tell sign. It's not the only sign, but it's a tell sign that everything's intact. You know, okay, everything's intact. They're looking pretty good. These some healthy people. Flesh ain't gonna really do that for you. It's gonna compromise it. It's gonna cause advanced glycation in, which is A G E, age. They can take a cell out your body, and they can replicate you. It doesn't matter what cell, no matter what part of your body. They can take a cell, and they can clone you. Your cells are just like you. First thing we have to consider: your cells are just like you. Now, you know you. You know that if somebody wanted to work you hard, overtime, seven days a week, take other people's shifts and do this for years on end, no matter how good the money may be, especially when the money ain't that good. Let's do it like this. The money isn't even good and you're being overworked and you're asked to do over 40 hours a week and you're asked to take other people's shifts and, and on top of the ones you have to take, your cells are just like you. What would you do if you were underpaid and asked to put in extra work hours on end, month after month after month, even if you needed the money? We know you would eventually quit your job. If you needed the money, we know you would eventually quit your job. Facts. Mm -hmm. Well, your cells are just like you. When was the last time you took a day off and actually had a fast? When was the last time you gave your body a raise in the form of nutrients, in the form of vitamins, in the form of minerals? When was the last time you gave your body some compensation, proper compensation? No, you eat and you eat and you eat and you burden yourself for 20, 30 years, 40 years straight. And the only time you don't eat is when you have that much more work to do and you don't realize it. Or your body makes you pass out because it's the only way to stop you mm -hmm. from indulging. The only way to stop you from self-destruction. They have to turn you off. They have to make you pass out. They have to make you get the itis and go to sleep longer than you plan to. Your cells are just like you. And if you overwork the cells, they are going to tap out or they're going to quit. Your heart cells are going to be like, look, I can't take this crap no more. You're not considering me day to day. I'm out of here. Your brain cells are going to be like, look, I love you and all. We had quite the relationship, but I just can't keep working here like this. I'm not getting paid enough. I got children over here relying on me. Your cells are the same exact way. You have to compensate them. You have to give your body a day off sometimes. And many of us haven't had a day off from eating for years since we've been alive is as much as we can remember. Mm -hmm. And that's scary. That is completely scary. So today we're talking to you about giving your body a raise. 
And every Monday, we're going to do juice and build. And we got to give your body a raise. We got to build. You deserve it. You've been, your body's been working overtime. Overtime. Your body has been working overtime in order to sustain your life. And the biggest problem we have with that is if you don't pass out, you think you're still healthy. If you don't see a bump on your skin, you think you're still healthy. If you don't have a runny nose, you think you're still healthy. Never considering that it's going to catch up with you because if you underappreciate or undermine the value of self, if you don't realize your self-worth by feeding yourself properly, your body will walk out on you. Or that which constitutes your body will walk out on you. This is a message to everybody, because when this COVID-19 came, you know what happened? We went out there and bought as much flesh and everything as possible. Flesh, we bought chicken and sanitizers. I, I never heard the combination until now. We bought chicken and sanitizers. We bought steak and sanitizers. We ran out of sanitizers. We started running out of chicken. All the fruits and vegetables were still in the house. That's where we at today. They tell you cover your mouth. They tell you wear a mask. They tell you wash your hands more times than need be. But they don't tell you what to drink. Your body is mostly fluid. But they don't tell you what to drink. So you have a car and you have fluid. And if you don't give your car the right amount of oil, something as simple as a little $10 oil change the whole car could break down. You have transmission fluid. And if you don't replace the transmission fluid, it gets to the point that when you do attempt to put some good fluid in there, it only works better with the garbage fluid that's in there. It built an immunity. Your car might drive backwards when you want it to drive forward. If you ever had transmission problems. Real talk. When you get gas, you got the regular and you got the premium gas. Why are you guys feeding your body premium. You're spending more money on the rims of your vehicle than you're spending money on this actual vehicle that you call your body. I'm just making these analogies so we can wake our people up so they can realize our health is of huge expedience. And we've been putting this scenario off for so long that in fact, we start to contemplate that dying with arthritis, osteoporosis, high blood pressure, diabetes, fibroids, hypertension, cancer, we start to lupus, jaundice, ADD, ADHD, bronchitis, asthma, shortness of breath, you name it, we got it. You name it, we got it. And that's all because of what we eat. All because of what we drink. We like to sit here and say, but why would God do this? The question is, why was you doing that? We have to discuss what that is. Don't blame God for this. And, and the, the greatest hint you can have is if the slave master was feeding you this food, why would you still be eating it today? Why would you still be eating swine? Why are you still frying blood? Don't tell, bienvenido a la tienda. Nah, nigga, you frying blood. Don't tell me bienvenido. Nah, you trying to kill me. Cut it out. We got to get out of it. The people that conquered us usurped our original diet. I know you like your cassavas and your yucca, right? That shit is toxic. It's poisonous. It's a hybrid. If man made it, man made two plants rape. He forced rape on two plants to cross-pollinate and produce something that won't yield the same results that Mother Nature can birth. So it's our responsibility to make a distinction or draw a line of demarcation when it comes to 
consuming alkaline foods and hybrid foods. I didn't say alkaline and acid. I said alkaline and hybrid because you need your share of acid called good bacteria as far as your flora is concerned. So we're going to do juice and bill Mondays, and we're going to heavily discuss the nuances of these drinks. We're not just going to, hey, this, this looks nice together. Oh, I just love the taste of a banana and everything. Let me show you this. It's not good. It produces too much mucus. You need the baby banana or the red Ecuadorian banana. So you have to be able to know the culprit when you see it. If you don't know what the culprit is, you're going to be out there. So even when you think you eat, because a lot of people turn vegan and they think just because something is not meat, it's good. good. Huh. Just because it's not meat. I went through it when I first was vegan. I'm at the Chinese food store. Yo, let me get uh, beef and broccoli without beef. That was my time because I just like the broccoli with the grape. And then I find out later, broccoli suspect. I'm like, goodness gracious. But we all go through it. Let me get the French fries. I never considered the oil that it was being cooked in. And the fact that even if the oil was healthy, which is not, they're using lard, pig, right? Uh -huh. But even if the oil was healthy, it would have denatured because it's being cooked under high temperature. And by denature, blocking, right. Right, blocking their pores, putting metal in there, to phthalates, and wondering why you wind up with those tumors under your arm from metal toxicity. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we got to be careful with these products. If you eat right, you won't need a lot of these products that are Band-Aids for bad health. Right. Yeah, yeah, so we don't rock out with no deodorant. And you know, when you're young and, you, and you're telling people, yo, I don't wear no deodorant. People, oh, you don't wear deodorant. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they teach you all sorts of weird ways. It sounds like you sneak just saying that. <laughs> right. But yo, you wouldn't have to wear deodorant if you was eating healthy. That's a fact. Somebody said, let me smell your arm. <laughs> <laughs> of course. That's one of the conversations that brings the immature out of everybody. Once you say, yo, I don't wear no deodorant, the record stops. <laughs> you ain't wearing deodorant. Look, the views went up 50 views because we said we don't wear deodorant. Deodorant. The word deodorant. <laughs> yo, what spread the, the word. They ain't wearing no deodorant. We got to roast these ones. <laughs> But go ahead, finish your juice, and I'm with it. All right, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Let me just add the ginger. I'm only going to put, like, three little pieces, because you know ginger is powerful. Very powerful. Love it. I smell the ginger. I love it. So now we put all the ingredients in. The raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, pomegranate seeds, the ginger. And I'm just going to add a little bit of water into the machine so it can kind of like take we up everything We got the kale up in there? Huh? We got the red kale in there? Oh, and the red kale as well. How, how did I forget? So I'm just going to actually add some water into it to liquefy it because like I said, it's, it's more like a jam right now. So we're just going to add... Oh, is a smoothie the same thing as a juice? And my answer is absolutely not. Wow. So, so the thing is, is with a blender, you're actually keeping the skin. You're, that's the difference. Got and you. you. And you and you want the juice. You want the juice anyway, as opposed to a solid. This is perfect. <laughs> that's what's up. This is really. We doing some powerful stuff. <laughs> I love it. So would juicing be better than blending? Like I said, it, it's all your preference. You can you can blend and have smoothies whenever you want, but right now we're discussing juicing, and I prefer juicing. And so what kind of straw is that again? It's a steel straw. No plastic. Yeah, and then you know the copper straws are dope too. Mm -hmm. So steel straws or copper straws, and out of what kind of cup? My, ma my mason jars, blast. So this is all to maintain the integrity of the house. So it's exactly. aging the second it's done. It's like buying a car and you drive off the lot and it depreciates the second that you drive off the lot. So in the same fashion, the juice starts to depreciate. You clean the straw. Oh, hold on. Perfect. 
I just grabbed another straw. It actually comes with a brush. So you just put the brush inside. Straw brush. Look at this. That was a yeah. good question. Just like that. That was a very good question. Look what happened. Good question. I bet a lot of you wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> That's how you know she's really about that life. Because ain't nobody coming out of nowhere with a straw brush with that question. You know what I'm saying? All right. She ain't playing no games with you guys, man. I love it. Man, you are doing an amazing job. Thank you. Okay, Cardi got that too. That's what's up. There All right. Go. There we go, Cardi. You better tell them don't be sleeping on you. <laughs> she into this, man. Cardi's about to be lit. Yeah. Is that on Amazon? I'm not too sure. I bought mine in the store over here. Most likely, though. Amazon is Illuminati.